Hello, my name is Jules Peterson, and I was a communications intern with Josiah Venture last summer. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Canva templates for this year's CAP theme, the original. I hope this is helpful for you, and if you have any questions, please reach out to the communications team. Let's get into it. These Canva templates are designed for ease of use so that they could be shared across Central and Eastern Europe to share the gospel and promote camps where students can get involved. Here's the Canva homepage. If you'd like to play around with blank designs, you can click one of the sizes here or click create a design and they have more options. For today's purposes, I'll show you how to use the template links. As we open the template link, you'll see the design and scroll down to two buttons at the bottom. Please, please, please do not click edit template as this will edit the actual file for everyone, but please click use template for new design and it will copy the design into a new file that you can use. This is what we're looking at. Now this post is meant as a carousel. So when you go to post it, you'll click each image and post it as one single post. As you can see, it is in English. You can edit it to fit your language, um, but we recommend that you keep it in English. This page is intended so that you can delete this text and write anything about that day. Just make sure that you don't leave any of the original text and you should be able to move it around. Another way to make sure your text is centered is by clicking the position and clicking these buttons here. When you're ready to export your document, simply click share, download, and you can either export it a still image as a PNG or a JPEG. For social media purposes, not much is different. It will download as a zip file, so you'll want to double click and it will open in your folders as five separate images. So what you'll want to do is see this folder right here. If you know how, go ahead and send that to yourself on your phone. For this next template, not much is going to change. Click, simply click use template for new design. And we're going to run through a very similar process. However, this template is not meant um, to be used in succession, but to be able to see all the options for the save to date posts and um, what you're allowed to use. So I'm going to use this gradient one. I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit the dates and places. And I'm going to have it set in Friedland. So if you want to only save this one, we're going to go in, make sure we know what number it is, download all pages. We're going to unclick all pages, that's the fastest way, and just click page three. Now when we download that, it won't f save as a zip file, but it will save as a single file, um, and you'll be able to view in your folder just that file. So that's super helpful. A rule of thumb for using Instagram stories is to use five to seven slides, as most people will lose interest past eight. Something I wanted to touch on was how do we get a picture that we want into the frame? If you don't already have things in your uploads folder, you can either drag and drop from a file into here, or you can go into uploads on your Canva account. There it is. We're gonna drag and drop into the frame. Again, if you want to resize the picture, you can drag in there just to get their faces. I'm going to have them right there. Okay. So now I have another one down here, but this time I want a video. Same thing goes. I want to drag and drop this video of Aaron and Liam. We're going to drop that in there. Same thing. I can adjust the sizing of it by double clicking and the video will play just like that. Since this one has a video, you can see by this up here, we're going to actually download this as an MP4 file. That means it will stay in video format. But we want to download each page as separate files because not all of the files has one video. And if you download it as one file, you will have to play through this entire video rather than having individual stories on your Instagram. Again, by clicking the use template in new design, 
this is a testimonial video about someone who came to Campbell previous year. So if you have a student willing to uh, just be recorded, that would be perfect. So you're gonna want to change out the name here. Make sure to take out the brackets as well. Make sure to change that on both. In this last one, you can either, um, you can change this as well if you need to change the call to action. Um, but this last image could be a picture of the student or just a general picture um, representing camp or what your camp looks like so that students know what to expect. All of these templates are interactive and are meant for social media purposes. So they are designed specifically to fit the sizes, shape, and even animations of our social media platforms. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any more questions, please contact C-Team. Have a great summer!